Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. My wife tells me I'm a creature of habit. Here I'm checking my camera the night before. I'm checking the battery, make sure I have my extra batteries. And as usual, I have a preconceived idea of what I want to do when I get to location. So I'm changing to my wide angle lens here. Also, I'm thinking about what filter I might use. So I'm going to reach into my filter pouch and use my very thin polarizing filter. Now, when we get on location, you'll see that I actually end up not using the polarizer. But as usual, I have fingerprints all over the polarizer, so I'm cleaning it off. And then I'm seeing another thumb spot, so I'm cleaning it off. And then trying to put it on. One of these days, I think I'll invest in those magnet polarizers that I see everybody using. Anyway, stay till the end of the video where I show you all the photos that I get on this outing. Hope you enjoy and let me know what you think. Good morning. I uh, came across this scene a couple days ago, but uh, I am uh, had to wait a few days. I wanted an overcast days to get more detail. Uh, this is a friend of mine's farm, but I seen these purple flowers and there's old John Deere tractors up there. So I'm gonna try to get an image. But before I go in there, I'm gonna put some bug spray on. Okay, before I start, I want to tell you a few things. I put my polarizer on, and the reason I waited for an overcast day is there's a lot of detail. The breeze is blowing slightly, so I may have to compromise with my shutter speed. I put a polarizer on. I'm not going to... The clouds aren't... I mean, it's high overcast skies. The clouds aren't going to add to the composition. Also, I'm always telling other photographers this. On my L bracket... The tightening screw, I put it underneath the front of the camera. Two reasons. Um, well, the first reason is I don't accidentally grab that where the camera falls off. I have these two knobs in the back here, one to turn the camera this way, and the other one's for the uh, ball setup. And I have, when I used to put this in the back, I have grabbed that accidentally, especially when the, you get a little excited about shooting pictures. So, um, and then the, there really isn't a second reason. I don't know why I said two, but I'm going to go up here, spray down with some deep wood off. I'm going to go up here and find a composition. Come along with me. Okay, what I like to do first is actually take my camera off and move around in the composition to see, <laughs> move around in the area to see what composition I want to set up. I'm seeing these flowers here with the old tractor in the background, and I have been here before when there was an old car parked here with a uh, wide angle. I've got my 17 to 35 on with the polarizer, so I'm just going to move around, and they've put some old uh, fence posts. I don't like those. I do like this tractor right here, so what I'm going to do is a composition kind of... 
I have these two purple bushes on the side, and I'll shoot some video on my camera once I get set up. And I'm not sure that the polarizer is going to do much. So I don't see a lot of movement, so I'm going to take the polarizer off and stick it in my pocket. These fishing shirts come in handy because they have lots of pockets. So I think I'm going to set up my... I'm not sure. Uh, maybe something like that. I'll have to add the... Uh, the poles there, but I'm going to go ahead and set up right here. So, and again, I'm out the camera on the tripod. One thing I've learned is never let go of your camera until you know for sure it's locked in. Okay, so here's the composition I have set up, and I'm going to record a little on the camera and talk you through it. So, let me go to my camera settings or my video okay so these are the flowers i seen a couple days ago i like these flowers over here i don't know if you can see this but the john deere tractor back there there's one right here i just have to be careful i don't my car is parked right here so let me get this set up when i first drove by i thought it was uh, thistles but they're some kind of purple flower so let me let me do some pictures i'm doing a second composition i moved in closer to these flowers right here with the tractor in the background let me record some on my camera again i moved in closer to these you can see the tractor in the background i got a little uh, sky back there but i'm going to do some focus stacking on this composition so i'm going to focus closest to the camera go to my menu and focus shifting is what they call it on Nikon I've got it set for four seven okay so I'm staying in front of my first con or first con third composition whatever it is and it's screaming for a vertical eh, can't talk a vertical composition the wind is blowing so I'm going to loosen this is why I like an L bracket loosen put it back on there and tighten it up don't let go and make sure it's on there and then you can let go I'm gonna go to live view and I'm gonna shoot a little video here so you can see what I'm looking at okay so what I like is the way that this is the soft grass in the background the barn back here uh, my highlights may be a little blown out back there but I'm gonna expose to the right again so let me do that and I'm gonna shoot this at f9 and exposure to the right and focus on the flower itself or the, this whatever it is now the wind picked up just a little bit put it back in self timer okay and i'm going to look around for maybe some more i'm kind of limited on time my wife and i started playing pickleball so we have uh, we're going to be going to our local gym and play some pickleball at 10 and it's about 8 17 right now that's one good thing about an overcast day you don't have to get up early uh, it's about detail shots so you've got all day to do it of course i don't i'm on a limited time frame so i'm gonna move over here let's see if the camera will follow me and i'm gonna move this way oh yeah the camera's following me i'm gonna move down here But right over here, uh, I've got a tractor tire with some flowers, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so i uh, got another composition. I've got the tire in front of me. I'm going to record some on, the, on my Nikon here. I, I really don't like this pole here, but I moved the composition, and I, I do like all the flowers. Uh, I may have to crop some out at the bottom here. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm going to shoot this at F11 because I don't want to do focus stacking here. And I'm going to focus on the front closest flower, uh, a third of the way into the scene. Self timer. And 
I shot at a 15th at f 9.5 and I'm seeing another composition this is where this travel tripod is not tall enough I need oh it might work yeah okay now focus I'm gonna use focus stacking on this one so I'm gonna go back to f8 and I'm going to focus in the foreground my shutter speed's a little low, so I'm going to increase my ISO to 560. Then I'm going to play with my exposure until I get exposure to the right. Because I'm getting a slight breeze. I'm at 350th at F8. So I'm going to focus on the foreground. Shut off the live view. Go to focus shifting. Okay, focus shifting for some reason does not work with the self-timer mode. And start. I shot three photos. I think I still see a composition a little lower maybe. Mm, I'm going to try it. I may be hiding in the bushes here in a little bit. So I'm lowering my tripod. May have to lower some more. So this time I'm going to use the uh, the legs themselves to lower the tripod. But you have to be careful with the wide angle that you don't get your legs in the composition. I've done that before. Focus about a third of the way into the scene. And I guess I better shoot a little video of this so you see what I'm seeing. Now the video does crop in quite a bit, but I, I kind of like the yellow and the purple flowers and the rust and all that. Okay, so I'm going to call that a wrap, uh, get home, and get ready to play some pickleball. So uh, I'm done here. I'm going to head for the house. Check myself for ticks. <laughs>